angles on parallel lines. So in mathematical terms, we're going to look at parallel lines. This is when two lines are the same distance apart that never meet, a bit like train tracks. And then we have transversal line, and this is when a line intersects the system of other lines. Parallel lines and put on our transversal. First angle we're going to look at corresponding. This is when the two angles are in matching corners. Next, our interior, and this is when all the angles are inside the two lines. OK, alternate, this is when the angles are opposite the transversal, but inside the two lines. Now we're going to make it easier to remember. So if we look at C for corresponding angle, what we're going to notice is these angles fit nicely into an F, and they are both equal. For interior angles, these fit nicely into a U and they add up to 180. And for alternate angles, they fit nicely into the letter Z, as you can see, and they both equal the same. So that gives us fuzz. CIA is the same as fuzz, F U Z. Corresponding angles. So if we draw our parallel lines, and these are going to be in matching corners. Now, what we notice that fits into an F and both these angles will be equal. So if one equals 110, the other one will be 110. Now, if we flip the F upside down or backwards, we can still see we can get in both those corresponding angles to equal the same. For interior angles, these are inside the two lines and they add up to 180. Now, if we draw a U around these angles, you can see they fit nicely. And if you added them up, it would make 180. Now, if you flip that U and put it on another place in the two lines, your angles would also add up to 180. So for our alternate angles, we know these are equal, but inside and opposite the transversal. But an easier way to remember this is if we draw on the letter Z, and this shows where our angles are and proves that they're equal. Now, if we were to flip the Z um, or turn it upside down, we would still be able to show two alternate angles. So if we look at C for corresponding angle, what we're going to notice is these angles fit nicely into an F and they are both equal. For interior angles, these fit nicely into a U and they add up to 180. And for alternate angles, they fit nicely into the letter Z, as you can see, and they both equal the same. So that gives us fuzz. CIA is the same as fuzz, F-U-Z.